The Israeli military just pulled off a stunning surprise operation in northern Gaza that led to the surrender of what might seem to be the rest of Hamas's forces in the area. Also up north, Hezbollah terrorists are deserting from their posts like crazy, even as a new Hezbollah leader was chosen to replace Nasrallah. We have a lot to get into, guys, so stay with me. I'm Ben Hilton, and this is The Israel Guys. Israel has changed the tactical playbook for modern warfare. Gone to the days when an advanced military invades an underdeveloped country, takes it village by village, then holds it in occupation as insurgents pop out of their holes at their convenience and destroy the advanced military's will to fight through brutal terrorist attacks. Israel has seen that this strategy is outdated and ineffective. Instead, they've chosen to go the unconventional route. Yes, they are taking Gaza and Southern Lebanon house by house, village by village, but instead of occupying and waiting for their forces to be attacked at the terrorist convenience, they are destroying weapons and fighting infrastructure, mapping locations, and then moving on. Then they watch these areas carefully with surveillance, and when Hamas comes out of their holes, Israel is the one to strike unexpected, unexpectedly, not the terrorists. In the meantime, Israel continues to destroy enemy infrastructure, kill terrorists and dog, and destroy every enemy leader they can possibly get their hands on. While these tactics require more patience on the front end, they are proving overall to be way more effective than previous wars the West have fought. This brings us to what happened today. If you remember last year, Israel began their Hamas offensive in northern Gaza and have since been moving south. This culminated with Israel capturing the Philadelphia Corridor, the strip of land bordering between Gaza and Egypt. Holding this land is critical for Israel. It allows them to stop the flow of weapons and supplies from being smuggled in from Egypt. It also allows them to stop Hamas terrorists from fleeing south into Egypt as well. As these operations have been happening in the south, many Hamas terrorists have been moving back north through tunnels or on the streets by blending in with civilians. Many of these terrorists regrouped in Jabalia in northern Gaza. Then Israel suddenly pivoted their attention north and in a complete surprise to Hamas, surrounded Jabalia with forces and heavy armor uh, within a couple of hours in the middle of the night. They then evacuated many of the civilians in the camp and then slowly tightened their chokehold on the terrorists caught in that trap. In the fighting, hundreds of terrorists have been killed and hundreds more have surrendered. Remaining Hamas forces retreated into the Kamal Adwan Hospital, uh, which is, was encircled by Israel's 460th Brigade. The hospital has been used as a command structure for Hamas uh, in the fighting in Jabalia. After more fierce fighting, about 60 terrorists surrendered. Israeli special forces entered the building complex and were able to capture dozens of additional terrorists uh, who were hiding in the hospital wards trying to blend in with civilian patients. The IDF hasn't completed the operation in Jabalia yet, but they are approaching the center of the camp, so it should wrap up soon. So far, hundreds of terrorists have been killed and over 600 have surrendered. According to the IDF, it appears that Hamas in Gaza is on the verge of breaking. The commanders have been killed, their defensive infrastructure leveled, and of their pre-war fighting strength of approximately 20 to 25,000 terrorists, Israel has killed or captured so far around 18 to 20,000, according to the information I've been able to find so far. 18 to 20,000 terrorists killed or captured so far. We don't know how many uh, have been able to desert into the civilian population or flee into other countries through the tunnels in Rafah under the Philadelphia Corridor. Um, but all in all, Hamas is quickly running out of manpower by all the accounts that we're hearing right now. Hopefully Israel will be able to finish the remaining terrorists in the north of Gaza, uh, there in Jabalia, and that will mark the end of major operations against Hamas. Uh, but exactly how that plays out will remain to be seen. War is a very fluid thing. Even though um, the war might come to an official end sometime in the near future in Gaza, operations will probably continue for many years to come as Israel maintains security for their cities close to the border. In a minute, we'll get into Hezbollah crumbling on Israel's north as well. But first... In times of war and conflict, the people of Israel have always found strength and solace in the Psalms. Today, as we pray for the safe return of our hostages and Israel's complete victory in Gaza, we turn to these ancient prayers. The Israel Bible Book of Psalms, Pray Like David edition, offers a way to connect deeply with God. As Psalms 91.2 says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. 
These words are a source of strength and protection, especially in moments of uncertainty and danger. The special edition features on the original Hebrew text, English translation, and transliterations, making it accessible for everyone to pray like David. Experience the power of the Psalms for yourself. Let the Israel Bible Book of Psalms be your guide in these challenging times. Click the link below to get your copy and join a global community of prayer standing together for peace once again on Israel's borders. So in Israel's north, Hezbollah terrorists are reportedly deserting their posts. The fighting is still really intense, don't get me wrong, uh, but apparently many terrorists are starting to lose hope. Their entire senior command structure has been wiped out by Israel. Uh, their ranks were also thinned severely by Israel's amazing pager and radio attack. And systematically over the last few weeks, Israel has been pushing steadily north, clearing terrorist positions one at a time above and below ground. According to the Arab independent paper Alaf from Saudi Arabia, I believe, Hezbollah is now seeing a wave of desertions. Apparently many terrorists are just found missing when they're called up for action. Um, some of them have taken their families and are fleeing to Syria, and others probably are just fleeing to remote locations in Lebanon's north. These desertions are reportedly causing a lot of challenges in Hezbollah's operations, including severe communication challenges. There's also a fear that the desertions uh, would spread north as well. Most of them are happening on the southern border where the fighting is most intense, but as morale continues to uh, lower, the fear is that those desertions would spread through the ranks further north as well, weakening Hezbollah further. Yesterday, Israel launched a series of strikes in Lebanese city of Tyre, uh, taking out key Hezbollah infrastructure. Uh, this comes on the heels of 115 Hezbollah missiles fired at Israel throughout the day yesterday. One of the rockets slipped through the Iron Dome, scoring a direct hit on a house in Malot Tarshia in the Galilee region, killing an Arab Israeli, Mohammed Naim. Overall, there were 13 other Israelis also injured in the barrage, according to the initial reports that are coming in. Hezbollah also had the nerve to finally elect a new secretary general to replace uh, Hassan Nasrallah, who Israel killed back in September. The new leader's name is Naim Kassam, uh, and he's not new to the business by any means. He was the deputy to Nasrallah for almost three decades. Apparently, he's terrified to be in Lebanon right now, and rightly so. He is currently staged out of Iran, although with Israel's now most recent mastery of the skies over Iran as well, I'm not sure how safe he should feel at the current moment. He has uh, just become a very, very wanted man. We need to continue to pray for Israel to stand strong and to win a complete victory in Gaza over Hamas and in Lebanon as well. Complete victory over Iran's aggression against the state of Israel. Don't forget to check out Israel 365's Israel Book of Psalms. The link is down below. Make sure and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, stop listening to the lies and propaganda and connect with the truth of what is happening in Israel. We'll be back soon here at the Israel Guys. Hey.